In order to do this painting correctly, I went down to the auto parts store and bought me some paint. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use and I'll show you step by step on how it will be done. The first thing we have to do, and I know I talk too much, but oh well, I'm old. I don't give a fuck. Next question. First of all, we've got to pick a color. Now, what I suggest you do is that when you're picking the color for your bike or whatever you do, do not get your friends involved. Especially, do not get a, a designer involved. Especially these interior designers from New York. These good looking chicks with a nice ass driving Mercedes. They wear um, fashionable stuff and they want to recreate whatever you want in their image. Well, let me tell you the, the reason that doesn't work out. Because you're, you're only going to see this person for a short time when they tell you how stupid you are, pick some ugly ass colors for you to put on your bike or your house. You're going to pay them a lot of money. You'll give them the check. They disappear. You don't see them anymore. You hate your colors. You hate your house. And you're wondering why are we so stupid to pay all that money for something you don't like. My point being Pick the colors that you want, that you feel comfortable with. You may paint the bike once and say to yourself, damn, that, that kind of didn't turn out like I wanted. Um, the emblems might not be in the right place. But I thought they'd look good, but they, there's just something about it I don't, I don't fucking like. Now, if that thought does cross your mind, then you're not happy with it. And the point is that you have to live with the bike or the house or whatever you're doing. We'll stick with the bike 24 hours a day. It's your project. It's your work. It's a, an extension of your artistic endeavor. God, that's a lot of bullshit. i got to work on that. And if you're not happy with it, then that's all that matters. What I plan on doing after I pick the color is I'm going to slowly take this off. It's on a sticker. Um, stick them and I'll take the hemi on them off these items right here I will lightly sand the edges and they have a lot of clear coat on them and I'll take these off I'll just take them off nice and easy the trick with these is you have to be you have to be very careful when you we sand the emblems because you'll have a ghost I can sand this almost all the way down to bare plastic and there'll still be a ghost of 49 RR that will show up in the next paint job. Why that happens I don't know but it does happen especially with pinstripes. And you can say well that doesn't make sense. Yes I know it doesn't make sense but I've done this 30 years. It does happen. It could happen to you. So now that I've picked the color which is right here. This is what's called a duplicolor metallic and it's I, I, I think these are going out of style so they just had a couple of them on the shelf this is a two-part system where first of all this is a kind of a transparent I would say like a blue film uh, that's the only way I could describe it and I bought two of, of these I like duplicolor because they're I don't know I just like using it you can use it whatever you want every year they come out with something different it's two-part system we have a base coat which is your silver which goes on the panel if you look real close you can see all the silver in here it's a real speckly highly grain silver it's rough and I, I'll spray it on here then what I do is I, I'll layer the um, the color on up to the amount I want now when they tell you well it's gonna look just like this cap it's not it won't even come close because you have to put it on perfectly uniform and you cannot do that unless you use a four hundred dollar spray gun like the one right there and you have to put it on perfectly because if you make a mistake you're gonna to have to keep layering layering the paint on until it gets uniform the more paint that you put on the darker it will turn out if you don't believe me you can look at my purple DO I did a few years ago same kind of paint I thought it would turn out like metallic purple like 
like this right here but it turned out uh, to be a really dark purple like like that color right there which is fine I have some primer sealer this is not to be confused with primer builder they're two different things okay this seals the prime surfaces it does not fill any holes alright I've got my plastic right out here first thing I will do with the panels is I will take the panels inside and I'm going to take some um, this wax and grease remover I didn't want to buy a twenty dollar bottle of um, professional wax and grease remover which is it looks it's about the size of that can right there and I didn't want to buy that because I just I, I, I spent hundred and sixty bucks on this stuff right here your automotive paints when you buy them in professional bulk are expensive as hell mainly because they're very very high grade petroleum and we all know that whatever's made of petroleum costs up the ass and it does cost now what I could have done is bought the professional grade paint primer and the sealer I mean the uh, clear but what I decided to do was get my color right and then seal it with a high performance clear which which has its three parts we have our since it is enamel which most cars are enamel some type of enamel acrylic enamel acrylic means hard so it's hard enamel I have the uh, acrylic enamel clear right here I have the reducer which is basically you can call it reducer or thinner if it was lacquer but it's not lacquer so what we call enamel thinner is called reducer then it has a hardener in it which instead of the clear hardening in three weeks it'll harden in six hours so back to where I was I'm gonna take a toothbrush right here and I'm gonna take my uh, degreaser I'll take my parts inside maybe in a bathtub if the wife ain't home and I can bullshit my way around that one and I'll take my little toothbrush right here and I'll clean out all the little spots where wax can hide like I don't know right down here um, any place where there's any kind of white I don't see any in there but when, when we go to paint we're gonna paint over the edge and onto the other side this is the most part if you're a painter you'll find out the most part where things leak is on the edge or crack is on the edge because nobody does the edges that well